New Black Ops 3 DLC weapon, the DIY 11, aka the nail gun. Is it worth your hard earned card points? Is it really all just another bullshit gimmick? You are now tuned in to the one and only Mr. Merciless Badass. Welcome to the murder show. What's the goddamn deal, people? Welcome to the murder show. And just when y'all thought they was finished, here we go with another batch of DLC weapons. Now we got a nail gun in Black Ops 3. Shit getting sillier every day. Could be a solid SMG, but you know they had to gimmick it out. Tell me why they put a nail gun in Call of Duty. Why they couldn't just give us another SMG? Why I ask why? Chickens gonna do... What the fuck chickens do? And that's cluck and walk around looking stupid, huh? So here we go. Best class setup for the DIY 11. Well, that depend on what game type you're playing. Usually in Black Ops 3, you catch me out here playing hardcore. But when using this new DLC weapon, I recommend that you take this shit to core. It got a hella slow fire rate. It fired just as slow as the HG-40. So you need to be able to eat a few bullets and not die while you lining your shot up. Now it's a three shot kill anywhere on the map. So at a medium to long range distance, this gun right here dominates core. As long as you got your shot accurate. It shoot kind of slow like the, uh, what they call it, the fucking shadow claw. It shoots slow like the shadow claw, so you got to lead your shot a little bit if people run it from side to side. But if they run it in a straight line, either right at you or away from you, you pretty much get the advantage on them. Unless you right up in their face, they probably going to beat you with the fast fire rate of all these other SMGs. So best class setup for core on this gun right here in this gameplay. I'm only rocking two attachments, quick draw grip. So you can pick that gun up and start shooting as fast as possible. Because like I said, it got a slow fire rate. Plus the, the nails travel real slow. And also, I got rapid fire on here to speed that fire rate up. Now, if I wasn't a perkaholic. Because me, myself, I like to run fast hands and scavenger. Because I like going for big streaks. And I like running dead silence and awareness. But if I wasn't a perkaholic. Then I would definitely slap a laser sight on here to help out with the terrible hip fire. Laser sight made this thing feel real solid. See what I'm saying? If I'd have had laser sight right there, I would have laid his ass down. But that's my best class setup. If it makes sense, it probably didn't because it sounded to me like I was rambling and shit. And I don't really feel like redoing it. But just to reiterate, rapid fire, quick draw grip laser sight and you may or may not even need a optical sight on there i just like running the elo sight red dot or boa either one of them three Assassin neutralized. but that's pretty much it and like i say take it to core you will get dominated on and shitted on in hardcore with this thing trust me i tried it i had a hell of a lot easier time in core when you shoot people in core it actually drop them pretty damn quick now you see him I put one bullet in him then I finished him with the melee cause I wasn't having luck with people right up in my face with it so it's a you know it's a high gun it's fun to play around with for something different but at the end of the day if you don't have the nail gun don't sweat it you really ain't missing nothing you'll do much better and you'll have a much more pleasant time Playing with a Cuda, a VMP, a Razorback, a Weaver, any goddamn thing. This is just another bullshit ass DLC weapon designed to get your money. Something to make you feel. Look at this bitch. Did you see this motherfucker? Now I know people like sitting in corners, but why would you sit in that corner? Nobody ever goes over there in free for all. Would he trying to not see nobody? Lord have mercy. But yeah, man, this ain't nothing but another bullshit weapon designed to strip you of your hard-earned cash 
Something to make you feel like, oh my god, I need this shit. You don't need this shit. I'm glad that Infinite Warfare got a crafting system so we don't have to wait on the luck of the supply drop roll in order to get a new weapon. If we don't get lucky and get it out of supply drop, then we can just craft the motherfucker. So shout out to whoever thought of that idea. Because this bullshit in Black Ops 3 with these DLC weapons is some straight up sucker shit, ain't it? Damn life cycle of the game is over with. And people still ain't got all the guns, even though they didn't put days and days worth of playtime and hundreds of dollars in supply drops into it. And that just ain't right. But if you ain't got this motherfucker, don't worry about it. Because if I had it, I wouldn't even play with it. I couldn't wait to get done with the live stream, unlocking that dark matter. And I couldn't wait to get a game with the raps so I can put this gun down forever. Honestly, I didn't really have a fun time playing with this gun. It's kind of frustrating. But it was, it did feel good to finally get those kills when I finally did end up getting them. Shout out to my nigga Chill Will. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to pimp slap the piss out of that like button for your boy. Leave me a comment. And be sure to hit that motherfucking subscribe button and don't miss none of this calling to do the real shit. It's the murder show. Fuck with me.